hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i will be trying the ccme recipe like i watched the recipe of ccme making puff puff so i just felt like i should try it out i've never done puff puff before i just felt that like i should try the recipe and for some reason it actually came out amazing because i've already done it before making this intro so i just hope you enjoy this video give this video a huge thumbs up leave me a comment down below if you're going to be trying it as i did leave me a comment down below and please do not forget to hit on the red subscribe button subscribe to my youtube channel and don't forget to turn on your notifications so that youtube will inform you whenever i post a new video so guys just enjoy the video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys so in this video i'll be needing milk powder i've got this milk powder from where i got the flood the woman said i can use it i will be adding nutmeg i'll be using nutmeg and then i bought this yeast i didn't see this instant yeast actually i didn't see the or the one in a sachet so i had to buy this one and then that's what we need the next thing we also need in this is sugar this is my granulated sugar that I'll be using and then I have a cup of warm water and obviously you don't use a uh, normal water and then I, I'll be adding my fresh pepper which I just cut into pieces like that and obviously I also be using the flour in the lemon bowl that's what I'll be using because you can't do um, puff puff without flour you know so that's just basically it and then what i'll be doing is i'll be adding my instant yeast into this cup and then i'll be adding like two teaspoons because of the quantity of puff puff i'm doing and then i'll be adding my warm water into it and just keeping it aside this is instant yeast i can add it and put it together immediately but i'll just keep it aside so i can mix the dry ingredients into the flour i added sugar into it so that I, would, I just did it the way CME did it. Right now, I'll be doing adding nutmeg into the flour. I'll just put like two teaspoons of nutmeg on the in the flour, and then I'll be adding my sugar. Obviously, sugar you'll be adding to taste. You add your sugar to taste, and then I'll be adding the quantity of this. Uh, milk flavor that i bought I'll, I'll just be adding enough quantity for what i want this has no actual no actual measurement you understand and then i'll be mixing them thoroughly together making sure the dry ingredients are well mixed together before i add my instant yeast which i set aside in a warm water so when i add the what the instant yeast, i'll be adding the fresh pepper and then i'll be stirring them together while adding my water my warm water bit by bit that's just basically what we'll be doing in this um recipe i'm adding my water bit by bit and just stirring it making sure it's not so light or not too thick you understand just making sure it's appropriate like the water is okay and it is not i can't see any white floor anymore just mix it properly mix it mix it mix it that's just what i'm doing you know <laughs> that's just basically what i'm doing so i'll try as much as to mix as much as possible to mix it for it not to have any kind of lump you understand so this is basically how it actually turned out i've been able to mix it properly look at how it is look at how beautiful it is the next thing i'll be doing is i'll be using a cloth to cover it up i have preheated my microwave and then i'll be putting it into my microwave keeping it there for like 30 minutes the microwave is not on i just heated it for 30 seconds and then put the pop puff dough inside and it's 30 seconds it's 30 minutes later i brought it out and it's almost double in size this is how it came out the dough is almost double in size see how stretchy it is see how reason it is the yeast actually made it right so i'll be heating my pan with on the fire and then i'll be using this spoon dipping it into a cold vegetable oil to be able to use it to scoop my puff puff dough into the 
hot oil without using my hand so that's just what i'm doing here i'm scooping it dipping it when i see that the spoon is sticky i dip it into the oil and then i scoop the dough and place it into the oil and then that's just what i am doing i'll allow this now to fry for about five minutes and then while checking it and also trying to stir and turn it into different turn the other side so that they will be evenly brown you understand or gold or whichever color it is i'll keep turning it until they are they are brown and then five minutes later they are it's okay for me to take it out so that's just what i'll be doing i'll now be taking it out after it's golden brown or brown in color just the way you would like it this is how i like mine i'll take it out and then i'll be repeating the procedure i will just be scooping it putting it until i finally finish my puff puff so that's basically what i'll be doing on a repeat and then i'll fry the quantity i want you understand most of the ingredient i use i actually did not measure it to be very honest depending on the quantity i'm using i just know what is okay for it actually so that's just how i made my puff puff for the very first time and it was a hit thank you to cme for showing me how to do this and making this come out, come out lovely my kids actually enjoyed it and i'm so grateful i've learned one more thing today like i'm so ex super excited so my puff puff came out amazingly well I want to thank those of you who have been watching my channel who have subscribed if you watched me up to this point please do well to hit on that red subscribe button and subscribe to my youtube channel do not forget to turn on your notification bell so that you will be informed whenever i post a new video now end this puff puff lovely please try this recipe and leave me a comment down below of how you see it stay blessed I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye-bye.